Hey YouTube, this video will be in the deck, I should be one. Jeff Gordon's 2012, yes I said 2012, Pepsi Max, um, Chevy. Where did I put my coin? Sorry, hold on, one second. Okay, um, I was sorry about that, I, I always use this, a quarter to do it and I couldn't find mine this time, so. Take a 360 view of the box. An action gold series car, and there's an NASCAR hologram. Let's take the take it out. Yeah, guys, I'm not. I'm gonna just say this. I know. I uh, my reviews have not been is getting as many views as I want them to be getting. Like, I don't know why they haven't been getting so many views. They haven't been getting very many views, but I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they don't seem like they've been getting many views, but. Well, no, they haven't, but... Anyway, there's the car. Come on, focus. Come on, focus. Alright, there we go. We got the car now. Um, yep, this is a cool car, I guess. I mean, of course, I love this scheme. This is one of my favorite schemes. But as far as the fact that it's exactly the same as last year, except the AARP logo is different, and one other thing. But, anyway, um... So, and there's a little mess up right there in, on my car, but, um, yep, so let's take a look at the sponsors. Pepsi Max Zero Calories, uh, Twitter at Pepsi Max, 24, Chevy Impala, Hendrick Mushworts, Moog Mail Comp Battle Rock Sunoco, um, Goodyear, Holly Mechanics for 3M USG Jags, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, AARP, Be the Match.org, Pepsi Max, um, Jeff Gordon, Pure Later, uh, Siemens, Freightliner, Mac Tools, Hendrick Motorsports, I think, yeah. Um, A or Pepsi Max, DuPont, Pepsi Max again, Chevy 24. And AARP, which is the different AARP logo. So, um, this side's the same. Oh, by the way, I did forget to say, but this is for Lego Boy 1624's contest. I know it's supposed to be closed, but he's been telling me. Because um, he gave me notice. He asked me to do it on, like, Saturday. So I, I hope this still is eligible. You told me it would be, but I don't know. Either way, it don't really matter, but... So if this is not, if this is not, then it's, I'm still trying to figure out, I can't tell if it's flat black. Hold on, let me see it. Yeah, it is, okay. It still is flat black on the base, and then the flames are still uh, glossy black, I couldn't tell. Uh, it don't really feel much different, the 2011 version seemed like it felt much different so I don't know anyway let's take a look at the paint scheme the paint scheme starts out with a yellow splitter and then that's basically the only part it's yellow and then the black and then it's basically black and then the hood is black and it comes up to the black um flames and then there's the flames right here and then they kind of just no they don't stop they go behind the wheel here and then they go to these flames right here and then they stop on the back and then the back then the back is black the deck lid is black. Well, deck, these two, are, they're both flat black. And then the shark fin is glossy black. And then the, um, so is the spoiler. But then also the flames come from over here on the hood here. And they come to over here. So, yep. So, yes, um... Pepsi is white, Max is red outline and white, Zero Calories is white, um, Chevy Impala is white, Moo, or no, <laughs> uh, this 24 is yellow outline and black, just like every other Jeff Gordon yellow 24, same with this one, and this one, Pepsi is white, Max is red outline and white again, oh, American Ethanol is green, Pepsi is white, Max is red line and white, and the Chevy logo is white. AARP Drive Dune Hunger is white, and this has the same. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna do something different. I know I never usually compare like the paint schemes and stuff, but I'm gonna do it this time because this is the same scheme he he ran. Well, besides the Pepsi Max logo, it was Dupont logo on there then. But um, I'm gonna do a paint scheme comparison to the original Pepsi Max scheme, and then whenever they change the logo, no, this is gonna be the 2010 car, but I'm just gonna do it. So bear with me a second. Okay, all right, here we are. Hope, hope I didn't damage. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, so here's the bus cars now. So these, just imagine this is the 2010 version with Dupont on there. So this original Pepsi Max scheme. I'm just gonna do three six views individually, and then current Pepsi Max scheme. All right, both of these cars will have been at the whenever they're, whenever the time that they're both run, they're gonna both be run once. Um, Jeff was originally scheduled to run this normal Pepsi Max car twice this year, but then they got the Max It Now car, which is gonna run at Daytona. So that leaves this car to run at Martinsville. So. But yeah, you can just see the differences in the paint scheme. So yeah, I'm gonna put that away. Uh, let me put it back in the box now. So yeah. But on the subjects I talked about first, um, not exactly enjoying reviews right now, just because they're not getting as many views. Like, like I did the um, the. Um, I did the uh, Kyle Busch. I did the Kyle Busch Interstate Batteries car on like the Thursday, and it didn't get many views. Like it still don't, but what I don't understand is I did mine on the Thursday, and then Race Day 2011. Yes, granted he does have 30 more subscribers than me, but his video came out on that Friday, so that's what I'm just trying to figure out. I had my video, and he's got, his has already got like 100 views or something, but, I don't know. But, uh, whatever. But, yep, first video for me, I did a paint scheme comparison, so, yep. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. I know this is a long video, but.